Moses 也叫《爆童传奇》来到好莱坞了。主唱人员们要给所有喜欢这部音乐剧的观众朋友们带来一场视听盛宴，还等什么呢？赶紧来先睹为快吧1992, and from the very first group of kids went to go and see that film, and adults and families alike, the moment that that movie came out, there was such a cult following behind it. Almost everybody immediately said, "Why isn't this on stage?" Now, when Newsies first came out, it wasn't one of Disney's biggest successes in the theater, but it developed such a huge fan following when the. When the soundtrack came out and kids were trying to do the dance numbers that Kenny Ortega choreographed, it took all this time. But then Disney was was going through their catalog of movies and said, "Well, which one of these has the biggest fan appeal?"、Mm -hmm. And they went and took polls of all these audience members, and time and time again, the number one film that came up was Newsies, and Alan Menken. Was just interviewed and 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 he was、uh, uh, talking to the L.A. Times、uh -huh. and told them, well, it got such a huge fan following. Let's do right by these fans and create something masterful on stage.、Mm -hmm. And that's what they've done.、Mm -hmm. Newsies won two Tony Awards、mm -hmm. in 2012: one for best choreography, but for Christopher Gattelli, and one for best original score. And Alan Menken included. Most of the music included in the motion picture, and wrote an、uh, an additional number of songs to flush it out into a beautiful two and a half hour show. It's one of the best dance shows you'll ever see. It's, it's quite spectacular. And sure as a star, we ain't come this far. It's really the interesting thing to expect from this show. I mean, amazing dancing, amazing voices, amazing energy, and a great story about a group of kids who were the underdog. I mean. America,、uh, Americans love an underdog story. This is a group of kids who did not have a union, had no formal、uh, education, but yet knew when an injustice was being done to them. You know, in 1899, there was a movement done by William Randolph Hearst and by Joseph Pulitzer,、mm -hmm. and that was, well, we want to make a little more money on the newspapers. So how about? Rather than raise the price of the paper, we raise the price of the newspapers to the newsies. 1899年，纽约街头到处充斥着报童的叫卖声，他们因为没有统一的领导而处处遭到压榨。直到这一天的来临，报童的生活终于发生了改变。Jack Kelly 是一个机灵乐观的家伙，在一群小报童中颇有威信。看到好朋友 David 一家人幸福的生活着 ，Jack 十分羡慕。他一心想通过自己的努力来改变现在的生活。赫斯特和普利策是报业的两大巨头，可普利策报业公司最近经营状况不佳。为了扭转亏损的局面，普利策决定以提高报童购买报纸的价格来增加收入。这一消息一经发布，便引起了报童们的不满。在 Jack 的带领下，报童们开始了罢工。Dance off? Yeah, right. Sing off. Rap battle. <laughs> You're on. Annie, excuse me. Oops, see, it's just a newsie. Time to bring your man pants on. Prepare to lose. See? Annie Olsen's run this town, and that's how it's gonna be. You boys are not the Santa Fe. We'll take and watch. One off and two off and three off and four. Wait, is this Annie or Snow White and the Seven Dwarves? Don't get smart, little girl. Go home and call stage management. 'Cause your rhymes smell like woo, like Sandy had an accident.、Oh. I need a paper boy, so 
want to read the news? Oh, wait, who needs papers? I have a phone and an iPad, too. Listen up, newsboy. I'm not trying to fight dirty. You call yourself an orphan, but what are you, like 30? It's, it's, it's a remarkable story. I mean, sheer will and determination from these kids. And audiences have loved the story since 1992, mm -hmm. and now they get to see it for the first time on stage. Mm -hmm. And we couldn't be happier. Mm -hmm. So how really like popular was it? Newsies? Mm -hmm. When the film, preferred, well, famously when the film first came out, it was not one of Disney's critical successes, as, as I had mentioned before. As a matter of fact, and you'll also read this in multiple interviews done by uh -huh. Alan Menken and the other creators, is that the film won a Razzie Award, famously won a Razzie Award for, work, for uh, Worst Song in a Motion Picture. Mm -hmm. But you take that happening, that occurrence back in 1992, and take a look at the fact that there are so many dedicated fans that absolutely loved the story, loved the music, loved the film. There was this, there was this drive to have it go to Broadway or have it go on stage. And they created one and it worked out perfectly. Mm, have you ever watched it? Have I seen the show? Mm -hmm. Newsies, is, it's an incredible show. It's incredible. It's absolutely remarkable. I saw it in New York with the original Broadway cast. The original Broadway cast won't be appearing in the show, but the best dancers uh, in the United States have been procured for the show. Uh -huh. And the touring production is just as amazing as the original uh -huh. Broadway cast. Uh -huh. Just a fun fact, the man who plays Jack Kelly, his name is Dan DeLuca, uh -huh. he was born in 1992, the same year that the movie came out. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty nice. then we will have the LA premiere of Motown the Musical, which uh, was written by Barry Gordy himself. As you know, Barry Gordy is the founder of Motown who discovered you know, dozens of powerhouse Motown personalities, mm -hmm. jump-started all those careers. He wrote the book himself and all of the music is pulled directly from the Motown catalog. <laughs> production of The Phantom of the Opera, and oh. this is not your grandma's Phantom of the Opera. This is a completely re-envisioned from the ground up physical production. It features the same music and the same book as the original production of Phantom of the Opera, as well as the same costumes by Maria Bjornsson, but from the lighting to the sets to the physicality of the stage to the way that the Phantom and Christine visit the lair, uh, the physical production itself mm -hmm. is completely Pretty brand new. new. Yeah. So to speak, they've de-85'd the show. Well, and they, it's the Phantom of the Opera for a brand new generation of theater lovers. You always knew that man and mystery
working in the I've been Pepper. here since 2003, so uh, in a couple months I'll be celebrating my 12th anniversary here. Wow. Yeah, but the theater is celebrating an even bigger anniversary. We're celebrating our 85th anniversary in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. The theater opened in June 4th of 1930. 93. Alexander, this was the last, one of the last uh, theaters uh, built, uh, per, uh, uh, curated I should say, by Alexander Pantages. Uh, right now, there's only three pan official Pantages theaters remaining in the United States, and this is one of them. Hollywood Pantages 大剧院于一九三零年落成开放，在此前不到一年时间，美国股市遭遇全面崩溃。可是这座富丽堂皇的电影宫殿在装潢上却依然不惜重金。极具艺术气息的巨型大厅里，有着香槟色的拱顶和豪华的楼梯，而华丽的立体天花板就像是两千八百一十二座剧场的皇冠。Pantages 剧院最初既上映电影，也有歌舞演出。在二十世纪五十年代，它是奥斯卡奖和其他一些重要活动的举办场所。一九七七年，剧院翻新了舞台，以上演百老汇剧目。第一场演出是《Bubbling Brown Sugar》。后来 ，Pantages 剧院为迎接《狮子王》的首演投入了一千万美元，使自己成为最受欢迎的剧院之一。That、uh, if you walk inside, one of the most、uh, favorite things that our general manager likes to do is to watch audiences come into the lobby. They look up and they gasp when they see the beautiful chandelier and the Art Deco architecture、uh -huh. and the Byzantine statues.、Uh -huh. And there's so much history and so much,、um, so, so many amazing movies have. Uh, filmed here, had their premieres here, and the best of Broadway now lives here for Los Angeles. In 1930, the Pantages Theater opened its doors to a legacy of epic entertainment. We welcomed a century of beloved dramas, classic romances. Timeless stars and generations of standing ovations. We invite you to be a part of Hollywood history. The Pantages is better than ever. My favorite musical is a musical called Ragtime, and it was written by Stephen Flaherty and Lynn Ahrens.、Uh, that actually premiered in the late 1990s. Um, it never played here. It played the、uh, the now closed、uh, Schubert Theater, which no longer exists. But、uh, we, it, it remains、uh, fondly in our memories. But that's my personal favorite musical. But、um, many fan favorites have played the Pantages on a regular basis. We've had Wicked, which just、uh, closed here a couple of days ago after a successful 14-week run. And this engagement of Wicked, which was not only a record-breaking、uh, production of Wicked, but it was the fourth time the show has played Los Angeles. It came here first for a six-week. Engagement, seven week, I should say, in 2005. It came here for a two year sit down from 2007 to 2009. It came here in the holidays of 2011, and it just opened the holidays of 2014 and closed two days ago. Oh, yes. And then just like now, we can say we're just two friends, two good friends, two. Sharing one wonderful, one joy day. How I am defying gravity. I'm flying high, defying gravity, and soon I'll match them in renown. And nobody in all of us, no wizard that there. 
and then on top of that, we've also had uh, multiple returns of Disney's The Lion King. Uh, you know, actually, the theater was renovated in the year 2000. I should say 1999 for the show's 2000 LA premiere, and that production ran here for about two years. We've also hosted the LA premiere of the mega hit The Book of Mormon, and we've also had the LA premieres of Hairspray. We've had the LA premieres of Once the Musical. Um, you, you name it. If it's playing All of on Broadway, if, if it's playing on Broadway, yeah. it's probably going to play this theater. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, is there any like uh, interesting stories within the history of Howard Hughes theater? used to own this building? Oh, okay. Yeah. When Howard Hughes was in the middle of making his famous film Hell's Angels, he actually lived in the theater. He bought the theater, and famously, our offices, which are on the second floor of this uh, of this building. Our offices was his apartment. Uh -huh. If you walk down our halls, you actually see that it looks like an old 1930s apartment building. Oh, okay. Yep. Uh huh. Is there any like uh, famous people or other famous people? Like, well, we uh, also house the Academy Awards from 1950 to 1959. Oh. Mm -hmm. So Lucille Ball and uh, Desi Arnaz and Audrey Hepburn and Humphrey Bogart and Yul Brenner, uh, all of those people, all of those famous celebrities from the golden age of Hollywood have all graced this stage and have all presented here. Uh, if there is a famous celebrity that has ever existed in Hollywood lore, they've been to this venue. Hollywood's biggest night of the year, the Academy Award ceremonies at the Pantages Theater. Returning to Hollywood after 10 years absence, Ingrid Bergman attracts an extra measure of attention among the dazzling roster of luminaries on hand. Janet Lee and Tony Curtis are others of the hundreds of stars and celebrities present for Hollywood's own accolade to its finest. The Academy's choice as Best Actress of the Year is announced by James Cagney. Lucky, lovely. Susan Hayward. And I want to live. Four times nominated, at last a winner. David Niven. <laughs> the best actor of the year, named by Irene Dunn. The Oscar winners for 1958. Yeah, how do you feel like working here? What, what do you feel? Feel very honored. Very honored. It's really, it's really amazing to be a part of something that is clearly bigger than you. It's like you know being a season ticket holder for the Boston Red Sox, mm -hmm. you know, they go out of their way to make sure that, you know, people that are season ticket holders mm -hmm. are part of the team. You know, the Dodgers do it the same way. With us, with our season ticket holders, we make sure that they know that this is their home away from home. Mm -hmm. They are our family. I feel, I mean, this is a family-owned company. Uh -huh. The Niederlanders have been around for over 100 years now. Mm -hmm. uh, Jimmy, uh, James M. Niederlander, who we fondly refer to as Jimmy, he owns our company. He is, you know, he is, he is dad. He owns our building and... It's it, like the it, father of the it's whole it, it, Absolutely right. right. I mean, we, we, we feel like he's here all the time. Um, it's a very close, warm environment. And it's good that our company has that culture because, because we feel like a family. We treat our customers like their family as well. Brighter. Bolder. Celebrating 80 years of timeless glamour. Epic Productions and Hollywood Legends. Moments that bring us all together.那些名流青史的剧院和其他建筑瑰宝在黄金时代装点了好莱坞著名的大街到现在依然保持着独特的魅力有人曾经这样评价好莱坞它是一个非同寻常的临时场所名气也许是过眼云烟但如今对于好